Are you sick of Facebook banning your ad account? You're unsure why they keep suspending you, or maybe you just want to prevent future bans. Well, that's what we're gonna be going through in today's video. This will be the only video you'll need to watch about Facebook ad account bans. Let's get into it. So what actually is a Facebook ad account ban? Well, there are actually two different types. The first one's a disabled ad account. Now this can be a temporary ban or a permanent ban of one individual ad account. Normally it comes as a result of multiple policy violations, okay? So maybe you've had multiple ads rejected on the Facebook platform. The second is a Facebook account restriction. Now this is a big slap from Facebook. It means you cannot use any advertising products on the platform whatsoever. So all your ad accounts and business managers will be banned. So if you're an agency owner, this can be incredibly detrimental. It's usually because you've had multiple violations on multiple ad accounts over time. But don't worry if this ever happens to you, okay? Sometimes there is just an error with the algorithm and Facebook are pretty quick to reinstate your account. You can also appeal either of these two different ban types and we're gonna go on to how you can appeal later on in this video. But before we do, let's go through a few of the main reasons that people get banned on Facebook. The first one is copyrighted material. This should go without saying, you cannot use other people's content, whether it's music, videos, images, or even the text from their websites. If you've caught doing so, you'll get a pretty quick ban from Facebook. We then have nudity. Now, again, you would have thought this is common sense with Facebook being a platform that pretty much any age can use, but there is a gray area with nudity. For example, with lingerie companies or swimwear, you have to focus on the product and not on the body. If any image or video is overly sexualized or seen as that by the algorithm, then that ad will get rejected and you risk your ad account getting banned. Before and after photos are also an issue. So if you're a personal trainer or you're a cosmetic surgeon, you cannot show someone before and after they started working with you. Now this was spoiled by false advertisers at the start of the Facebook ads game and where people were showing unrealistic results or even completely fabricated results. So if you are a personal trainer, do not show body transformations. If you are a, maybe you work in a Botox clinic, do not show someone before and after. You can sometimes get away with it on your website, but you do risk getting a rejection on your ads if somebody from Facebook goes and looks into your website and you're heavily promoting unrealistic before and after images. So generally stay away from them when launching your ads. Restricted keywords are also an issue. We cannot make people feel self-conscious and we cannot bait people into buying our products or services. Head over to facebook.com forward slash policies forward slash ads to read about what keywords are restricted on Facebook. I recommend anybody doing this before you start advertising on the platform. We then have multi-level marketing. So no MLM businesses are allowed to advertise on Facebook. That includes anything that can be perceived as a pyramid scheme whatsoever. And finally, you cannot swear on Facebook. Again, for the same reasons as nudity, it's a family platform and Facebook do not want the news feed filled up with junk posts full of bad language. You don't need to use language to sell your products or services. So that would go without saying. Now, if you wanna scratch up on any of the Facebook ad policies, I'd recommend you go into facebook.com forward slash policies forward slash ads, and you can read all of the latest changes, but you only really need to read the relevant stuff to your product or the service that you're trying to sell. Now, for future reference, here are some tips on how to avoid bans. Make sure you check Facebook ad policies before you launch any new ads. And if an ad gets rejected, don't panic, just look to see why the Facebook algorithm might have triggered the rejection. You should then always change the ad accordingly before you request a review of that rejection. And finally, avoid requesting reviews too many times, especially if you're in a gray area when it comes to Facebook's advertising policies. Now, another thing for new star advertisers is never use a new Facebook profile to create an ad account, okay? So always use your existing Facebook profile that you use for your personal life, okay? Because it needs to be a real authentic page so Facebook know that you're not a bot. If you create a new account, a secondary account to create an ad account from, Facebook will ban you instantly because they will think you are a spam bot or a scammer or something to that extent, okay? Stop you laughing. You're all banned. Banned, I tell you. The other thing you need to do is verify your business manager as soon as you possibly can. So when you create a business manager, hit settings, hit verify, you'll change a very small setting in your DNS of your website. So Facebook know that you're the owner of the business you are trying to advertise for, or you're the owner of the agency, so you're advertising 
on behalf of other businesses. So always verify your business manager is gonna, gonna put a green tick next to your name and make you a lot safer. But bans happen to the best of us. Sometimes they happen by mistake, sometimes we've made an error, and you should never panic when you get a ban. You just need to follow the right process. Read up on the policies and own up if you did make a mistake. And most importantly, put together a calculated and efficient appeal. And that's what we're gonna be going through in a moment. How you can appeal and what the process is to get an ad account reinstated. So how do you start the appeal process? First things first, you'll need to be in your Facebook Ads Manager and then in the bottom left corner of your screen, click the Help button, hit Contact Support Team and here you will be able to put in a request for a review on your ban. Now alternatively, sometimes you'll have a ban at the top of your screen saying that your account has been restricted and there's gonna be a button that says Request Appeal right after that, okay? So, or Request Review, sometimes it's worded as as well. So either the banner at the top of your screen or bottom left corner, Help contact support team. Now, the first thing we want to include in our written appeal is an apology right after introducing ourselves quickly because an ad reviewer is a human being at the end of the day. And if we apologize, we're gonna start off on the right foot. Then talk about your policy violation. So if you know what policy you violated, mention exactly which one you think triggered the ban and how it actually happened, okay? If you didn't or you don't know why your account has been banned or why your ad has been rejected, then simply state one that you maybe think it could have been flagged for and explain the reasons why you haven't actually broke that policy. But don't tell Facebook that they don't understand their policies, okay? Just simply allude to the fact it may have been an honest mistake by the algorithm. After that, state your corrections. Mention that you and your team have reread the policies and have made appropriate changes to your ads and your marketing strategy to ensure you do not break any further terms of service. And finally, offer assistance. Ask if there's anything that you can do to speed up the process or make things easier on the ad reviewer's side. Finish off with a very simple signature and that's pretty much all you need to do. You just need to be honest and to the point. The worst thing you could be here is arrogant or argumentative or blame Facebook for removing your ads. As frustrating as it can be and as, as many times as you want to bang your head against a computer screen or shout at someone from Facebook down the phone because at the end of the day when your ads aren't running and you rely on those ads for revenue, it can be very, very frustrating when you haven't broken any policy violations. Believe me, I completely understand. I've been in that position many, many times with clients and with my own ad accounts, but you need to go for a walk, get a level head, and then come back and write a very diplomatic Facebook review request. Now, when you've submitted, it can take anything from two to seven days to get a response. If you're waiting more than seven days, I'd recommend you trying to speak to Facebook directly using their live support function. So hit that help button, support team, and then if it's available in your country, you can jump onto Facebook live chat. Um, if you've got that, you're very lucky indeed because it isn't available everywhere in the world. Uh, now, but sometimes you won't even get a response. Okay, if you've been unlucky and it's got lost in the algorithm, it does happen from time to time. And you may even have your appeal rejected by Facebook. So what do we do in those situations? Well, firstly, again, you're not alone. It's happened to me many times. So do not panic. There are ways around it if you have a permanent Facebook ad account ban. Now, the first things first, if you just have an ad account ban and you still have a business manager, you can go ahead and create new ad accounts. But do this with severe caution, okay? Make sure that you've read the Facebook policies and you understand why you may have been banned in the first place. Because if you launch the same ads again, you're just gonna get another ban. And this time around, it will probably be a ban of your overall business manager and you won't be able to use Facebook products at all. If you get one of those bans, things are a little bit trickier. If they reject your appeal on an overall Facebook account restriction, your only option is to use a different Facebook profile. So you're gonna have to use a friend or family member's Facebook profile, create an entirely new Facebook business manager and use that to run ads instead. Ideally, that person wants to live in your local vicinity, so you're not logging in from multiple IP addresses. At the very least, they need to be in the same country as you. So it can be frustrating if you get an overall Facebook account banned, but you can get around it by using someone else's Facebook profile, which we've done many times in the past when we've been waiting for Facebook accounts to be reinstated. Now, with any marketing strategy, if you rely on one advertising platform to generate all of your revenue, you don't have a very good business because if Facebook put the hammer down on your account and you 
you have nowhere else to turn, no other account or profiles to use, then you're pretty much screwed. You're not generating any revenue whatsoever. And you're in this position scrambling to use other platforms or find out how you can generate more traffic sources. So I would always recommend with any product or service you're trying to sell using a multi-platform strategy, use multiple advertising platforms such as Google, Snapchat, TikTok, all of these platforms that you can get a lot of traffic for and you can build revenue sources. So if something goes to shit on something else like Facebook, then you have another platform to fall back on. By the way, if you want to sign up to Snapchat ads, which are, from my experience, the lowest CPM cost to reach a thousand people that I've ever experienced online. There is a link in the description of this video if you want to test out Snapchat ads and make the most of their low CPMs. If you spend $50, they give you $150 credit. If you spend $500, they'll give you $500 credit on your ad account. So it's free cash to test out a new advertising platform and diversify your revenue generators. So if something does go wrong on Facebook, you don't have to panic whilst you're waiting for your ad account to get reinstated because you're already making revenue on other lucrative platforms out there. So click the link in the description after you have watched this video. And I hope this has been valuable to you. I think you need to not panic if you ever get a ban. It happens to the best of us. It's happened to me multiple times. Our business is still operating and that goes for our clients and for our, our personal businesses. But the key is making sure you do diversify and you react in a very level-headed and calm way. If you're angry, frustrated, don't put in an appeal till you've gone for a walk and got a cool head and use the template that I've given you in this video today. If you know anyone else that's struggling with a ban on Facebook at the moment, then please do share this with them. Drop us down a comment below if you're struggling with the process and we'll see if we can help you out as well. If you're interested in our learnads.io training in our pro Facebook ad course, we do have an actual templated message that you can copy and paste straight into the Facebook ad review. We haven't put it on this YouTube video because then thousands and thousands and thousands of people will have instant access to it and the review will just be obsolete because Facebook will be so used to seeing it. So it kind of defeats the point of having that. But if that interests you, then it is available. And yeah, I hope this has been valuable. The first ever video you have seen of mine, I always produce marketing-based content on this channel. I'm an agency owner and a digital educator around marketing agencies and online advertising. So yeah, that's the end of this video and I'll see you all very, very soon. Cheers.